high five testers. Now, how do sanity tests is a quick test you can do yourself in the field or in your office. To, uh, this type of test will give you a quick go, no go information about the basic operation of your system. Whenever in doubt, do a, a sanity test to regain confidence in your system. Now, let's do a sanity test for the depth channel of the jump. The first thing to do is a visual check of the wheel. As you can see, the wheel has 25 magnets, which are picked by the wheel electronics, generating 100 counts per rotation. The wheel should be solid with no play. It should rotate freely and should not require any considerable force. No debris should be present at the gap between the wheel magnets and the connector housing. Let's also have a quick look at the depth cable for loose, broken uh, parts or anything that doesn't look fresh and new. Let's connect the chunk to the PC. We also connect the depth encoder with the I cable. For this kind of test, we don't even need to connect the, the orange cables of the transmitter and receiver at all. Now let's have the encoder connected. And we'll take a pencil or a pen and mark a line on the wheel, like that, just... Okay, so now we have that line here. We'll start the chapter and we'll go to Tools and Data Source. So I go here, Tools, Data Source, and Start. I look, I look at the counter readings, primary, and rotating, I'm rotating the wheel one full round. And I'm getting primary readings 100. The readings must be 100, or it can be on or off by one or two, but not more. Now, let's rotate the wheel in the opposite direction the counts will return to zero, again, plus minus one. Do a more realistic test. Let's rotate the wheel as quickly as we can. Let's count to, let's say, 5,000. So I'm really rotating as fast as I can, looking at the counts until they reach 5,000. That's 50 turns. Okay, that's exactly 5,000. I look at the line and I see that the line is exactly on the initial zero point. I rotate it also back to zero, check it again, and once we've done that, we can conclude that the depth encoder is in a good shape. If you find a problem, it might be a good idea to check other depth encoder with the other depth cable cross-check until we have a definite conclusion. Additional related videos are sanity test of the ultrasonic channel, a sanity test of the main box, and doing the depth calibration. Thanks for watching.